Hello, my name is Mia from Bitwig. Uh, we are a music software company from Germany and as of this NAM show we are also a music hardware company because uh, we are showing our first hardware product. It's called uh, Bitwig Connect. It's this lovely um, Bitwig interface. It's more than an audio interface. So it's a dog control. It has dog control functionalities. It's a monitor controller, and then it also has like a very unique uh, Bitwig mode that I would like to tell you a little bit more about. So the cool thing is like with the Bitwig mode, if I hit this button, the it, it lights up, and then if I go back into the software, any parameter in Bitwig Studio that I hover over is like locked to this high resolution dial which is like the center piece of like Bitwig Connect and you can also see how it's color coded so depending on the color of the parameter in Bitwig Studio you can uh, then just like use this on the parameter and uh, one nice thing with that is for example if I'm going to switch Switch. Let me load a synthesizer because then we can see it better. Um, so if I go here, you have this like little arrow key indication, and it's locked. Uh, it's uh, locked to the dial. If I touch this again, like this parameter is locked, and now I can also go anywhere else and adjust any other parameter in Bitwig Studio. But this one is still tied to the dial. So you have a lot of. Um, nice uh, almost uh, like analog feel that we bring to the software with the Spitwick mode and this is not MIDI it's like high resolution so you have especially also when you work with like oscillators like the capability to tune them super finely and don't have like any weird steps in the tuning process <laughs> and then yeah another great thing with like that is also part of uh, Bitwig Connect is the scroll mode. So if I hit this button and it lights up, um, then you can see how like in the software you can scroll through the arrangement over here. And the cool thing with that is that it's like uh, resolution sensitive. So if I scroll more in, the steps of the scrolling are like much finer than they are when you are like zoomed out. And if I like tap it again, then I'm um, in a zoom mode. So I can also use that as like a, a or for the zoom function. And that is like really, really nice. So what I love to do at home is like you have one hand on the mouse to operate and then you have the dial who does like all the other work that you want to like have it like used for. And yeah, that's like an aspect that I really love about Bitwig Connect. And then connect um, also means that we did some really cool integration with external hardware. So you can see you have here like two ins uh, that are DC coupled and four outs. And that allows you to bring like some of the cool functionality to from Bitwig to external hardware like this Erebus from Redbox or also back into Bitwig Studio. And uh, I have like one track set up here with the CV instrument where I can just like showcase um, how I have set it up. So here like I have the pitch assigned to one of the outputs of Bitwig Connect and then also the gate assigned. So now the information from the clip is like triggering um, the oscillator in the Erebus. And then I'm routing the audio signal back into the hardware CV instrument to get sound, but it also allows me to then, for example, use our built-in note effects uh, to trigger the gate signal of the Erebus. So you have like a ton of new options to uh, work with the control of software, but bring it into the hardware realm. And that's really, really fun. Um, yeah, what else? Ah, uh, yeah, maybe one thing that we love in Bitwig and that is also then accessible for the external hardware is our unique modulation system. So um, over here, like I have set up the CV out and then um, it's this one. 
and then I can like use one of our built-in modulators. Um, I love, for example, sorry if I scroll too fast, but like I really love our wavetable LFO, and then I can use this and assign it to the value of the LFO, and then that comes in here and like modulates uh, the VCF of like. Um, the Aerobus synthesizer. So the whole modulation system can then be added to uh, your hardware as well. And this way you can also use like software LFO control or modulator control for anything that you want to control in your hardware. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> um, what else would I like to show? Ah, yeah, transport control. So Bitwig Connect also has some nice transport control functionality. So you can just like use it in um, Bitwig Studio to like stop, start, and record. And like with alternative modes, you can also write automation and have like a loop functionality. Uh, Bitwig Connect also has loopback, which is like I think really cool if you uh, need it. And then one thing that I also like to say to people who are like, well, it's tw four in and 12 out, but I need maybe more ins because I have more external hardware. Well, with the new version of Bitwig Studio um, 5.3, we brought um, what Mac had otherwise before already, the idea of like aggregate devices, like combined devices. So you can also add Bitwig Connect to your existing audio interface and then you have like a combination of like maybe a rack mount audio interface and the controls that you get with Bitwig Connect in like one setting. Um, that only works on Mac and on Linux and unfortunately not on Windows, but uh, it works really well. I've tested it at home and it's just a really nice way to integrate Bitwig Connect uh, into like your existing setup if you need to. And uh, it's coming in spring 2025. Um, it will cost uh, 449 uh, euros and uh, 500, oh no, 499 euros and 549 US dollars. And we are super excited and uh, yeah, very, very happy to show it. To find out more about the Bitwig Connect, please visit their website and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. You are watching CatSynth TV uh, from NAM 2025.